Oh, morning, love. Morning? What's in the box? Oh, I've just been to the post office. Nothing for you to worry about. Oh, are you sure about that? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll just, I'll just go to the study. Don't worry about it. Oh, ran the gauntlet of death. Phew. Welcome back to Brutlosophy. If you're new here, my name is Tech. I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands that I live and work on and that I'm recording on the Wajik people of uh, Nungabuja. So, I've received this. I picked it up from the post office. Uh, it's beautifully wrapped in bubble wrap. It's got Bahasa all over it, so we know it's from Indonesia. And uh, you know my favorite Bandung bootmaker, one that I really discovered when they were very small during COVID, and now I'm proud to say has become uh, a really one of the looked after brands uh, out of Bandung. So yes, this is from Fortis Boots, and this is my third collaboration with them. Uh, and this one is aimed more towards a dressy kind of look, and I call this the Legolas. And again, if you know your Lord of the Rings, you'll understand the uh, reference. So let's get into it. Okay, a, a really thoroughly well-wrapped box, uh, completely wrapped in bubble wrap. I'm not even sure how to open it, but let's just cut through it uh, and get down to the box itself. Oh, and under the bubble wrap, which I thought was the box, is actually more plastic. So this is one of the uh, most safely wrapped and probably the longest unboxing that you're going to see me do. <laughs> but um, Fortis, and Sunny Ramdani is the founder, is always very careful about his packaging. Uh, and I'm glad to see that it's continued. So inside the bubble wrap is more plastic. Let's just get rid of that. Cut through that. Oh my goodness. And after that struggle, we got to this uh, beautiful Fortis Boots box. It's a slightly different box. It's um, it has a sort of uh, printed feel on it. And in fact, I don't know if you can see on camera, it's a very pretty box. And I think the printing looks, ooh, I would say like an Indonesian pattern. It's almost like batik. Um, Fortis Boots logo. Let's open this up. Wrapped up nicely in paper. A Fortis uh, boot sticker. Each boot is individually wrapped in a sort of uh, silk-like boot bag with Fortis boots on it. Let's open one of these up. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the Legolas. It is a whole cut Oxford boot. That's one piece of leather that goes around the quarter, uh, the vamp down to the other side, with one seam up the back that's covered by this back stay. Absolutely gorgeous the way this is. Uh, this is local Indonesian pull-up leather in black. And because I fully intend on wearing this with a suit, it is an Oxford closure, meaning that uh, there isn't an extra piece of um, quarter that's opened up in here. And if you see when I open this, the opening is actually closed down here rather than in normal service boots where you can open it up. Uh, it's in quite a tapered last but that's because we wanted it to be a very formal boot that you would wear with a suit or at, at the very least with what uh, the English call uh, slacks or sort of formal pants. You could do this with a dark chino, uh, but this is certainly 
not really a jeans uh, kind of boot. The stitching, very hard to see on black of course, but this little loop here is a Fortis signature. And the stitching, there's only one little bit of stitching here, is immaculate. Uh, the collar down into the lace facings is rolled. There's a little, I um, can't remember what it's called, it's a French something, rolled through there. That's going to look beautiful. I call this a Legolas after the elf in Lord of the Rings because he was a prince. Uh, he was extremely athletic, uh, very elegant even when he was fighting. And I think this is such an elegant line. So um, I asked uh, Sunny to, to work with me to design a former boot and I wanted it to be whole cut. And he and I came up with this design, which I'm sure he'll be offering from now on. I did it on a leather sole, but of course you can put day, night or whatever you like on it. And you can see it's a um, uh, double leather sole. So there's a midsole and the outsole. And leather stacks for the heel with a rubber top lift from Dr. Soul. And uh, to finish it off, he's put on uh, brass toe taps. I notice what he hasn't done is cut the brass toe taps into the leather, which is interesting. He's just nailed them on or screwed them on. And I'm not sure if I'll retain this, or I might take them to my cobbler and ask them to actually cut it in so that it's, you know, it doesn't catch. This is actually quite, quite rough. That would worry me. Um, otherwise, the design, I think, is faultless. There's a little uh, loop of leather here to put the lace through so it doesn't slip over. It's not gusseted, really, because being an Oxford closure, uh, it's very hard to gusset the tongue into that. Really nice. Let's look at the other boot. Again, the boot bag. And this leather is actually really lovely. Um, it, I, I'm pretty sure it will take a good polish. I might even try and mirror polish the toes. The toes are very lightly structured. I dare say even to the point of being almost unstructured. You can see how it collapses when I press it. Uh, my understanding is that the heel counter is leather, veg tan leather, as is the insole. Uh, I asked for a, a 360 Goodyear whelp, and I think what Sonny has done instead is he's done a 360 hand whelp. Now the difference between a hand whelp and a Goodyear whelp is that in a Goodyear whelp, it's basically the same technique. It's what's on inside. In a Goodyear whelp, the leather insole has a canvas gamming sewn onto it. And that canvas gamming is used to sew onto the inside of the welt and to the uppers. In hand welting, they carve a channel on the insole. I can't show it to you, it's inside. They carve a channel on the insole and that flap of leather that they carve out is what's used to sew the uh, welt and the uppers too on the inside. And then on the outside, as normal, there is a stitch through uh, the welt, which is colored black, through the midsole, and through the outsole. And you can see that, I mean, this is a hand-stitched uh, stitch. You can see how precise that is. If I took my ruler out, I think you'd find it's absolutely even. Amazing. Work of art. All right, I want to, uh, oh, oh yes, the other thing is, I asked Sonny to see one of his uh, welts, uh, one of his uh, um, lasts to see if it would be suitable where it's quite wide at the ball of the foot before it tapers so that I don't feel a squish. Um, and he's come up trumps. All right, let's get them on foot and see how they feel. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to you. The Fortis Cross Bootlosophy Collaboration Legolas Whole Cut Oxford dress boot. 
this is phenomenal, and uh, my foot, as you saw, slipped straight into it. I'll tell you what I am so impressed by is the attention to detail that Sonny's put into this boot. Uh, and, you know, as I was getting ready to um, set this shot up, I was noticing the stitching at the corner of the Oxford opening. The rolled edge that you get all the way around just makes it a very dressy boot. Uh, the way it's blind eyeletted, so you don't have sort of shiny uh, hardware to detract from the uh, uh, formalness and dressiness of this. The uh, uh, lace loop is not just a couple of slits cut into the, into the tongue, but the lace passes through a loop of leather that's that's uh, sewn on there. And also, being a hole cut, like one piece of leather, I just marveled at how difficult it would have been to last this. The last chosen by Sunny was fantastic. It totally suits um, the dressiness of it. Again, uh, as with some of my um, more tapered almond-shaped toe boots, you might go, oh my god, that's really tight. It's not. Look, um, that's my big knuckle. That's my little knuckle, so there's plenty of room. My little toe is there, then the second little toe, and it curves around there until my big toe is there. So there is thumb and a half's width up front. But, you know, if you're used to dress shoes, that's totally fine. You also saw um, how well this fit in terms of how I just slipped my feet in. And they went in beautifully. The uppers is really nice Indonesian leather. I just don't see any break-in required of that leather. It's fully lined, by the way. I shouldn't be wearing it with these jeans, but I was wearing them today. So um, I would normally, I designed these to be worn with a suit because my old floor shine shoes and everything have all fallen apart. And the only uh, boots that I wear with suits these days is it, uh, my R.M. Williams Chelsea Craftsman, as well as a pair of Thursday Brogue boots in uh, the very dark brown leather. Um, so I wanted something that I could wear with a suit if I had to give very formal presentations. Uh, leather sole, so it makes it even more dressy. Slippery, of course, on carpet at first until it scuffs up. It's one of the things about leather soles is that it's slippery until it looks ugly <laughs> when it's been scuffed. This is very comfortable. Uh, double leather sole, it has a leather midsole and a leather outsole, uh, leather insole with cork filling. It has a steel uh, shank to support the arch so that it doesn't collapse down there. Not that this thick double leather will collapse anyway. Uh, I can feel a little padding under my heel, so I'm guessing that the heel uh, sock cover, sock liner, is lightly padded. The fit is dialed in. Uh, in the past, I've drawn my feet for Sunny. I'm afraid I drew them wrong, and Sunny's made me size 42 boots, uh, European size 42, which is uh, US size 9, true to size. I'm an eight and a half true to size. This time Sunny has come down a half, so I believe these are 41.5 true to size, which is UK 7.5, which is US 8.5, and it is a perfect fit. Oh my God, I love these. The Fortis Cross Bootlosophy Legolas. Uh, you can find on Wikipedia who Legolas is if you don't read The Lord of the Rings or watch the movies. He's the very elegant warrior elf, uh, very athletic, very graceful, and he fights as if he were in a dinner suit. <laughs> All right, so uh, uh, let's wrap this up. I will bring you, obviously, a review of these in a few months' time after I've worn them. Uh, look, I, I think I'll be wearing them to the office more than anything else, and I'll be wearing them with my smart casual, I'll be wearing them with my suits, uh, I may go out in them if we're going out to somewhere nice that I'm taking my wife and meeting friends in a, you know, silver service restaurant. Oh, these are so comfortable. Okay, let's wrap up and uh, uh, bring you the summary. So that's the unboxing of these 
uh, Fortis X Bootlosophy collaboration, uh, uh, very formal, very dressy shoes, boots, uh, Oxford closure, hole cut, so difficult to make hole cut boots, uh, with only one seam up the back. The, uh, the whole construction of the boot is really just fine, precise, well thought through and excellent. And as you saw, the fit is really, really nice. Um, the only flaw I'd have is, is that the toe tap isn't cut, carved into the uh, leather outsole, and I'll get that fixed uh, by my cobbler. Uh, because otherwise, I think that's actually quite scratchy on timber floors and things, and my wife will kill me. Um, so there you go, guys. I hope you like that uh, 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 little unboxing. Um, go to Instagram. Fortis does not have a website, but if you go to in Instagram, you can look up his account, uh, fortisboots.idn. Uh, and there's some really fantastic work. This is my third collaboration, as I've said. The first one was the Strider, a kind of upland uh, uh, wedge sole um, walking boot. And the other one was the Thorin, a very chunky, cap-toed uh, Chelsea boot. And this one, in complete opposite, is a very dressy uh, boot. In the English style, I think, in the European style. So. If you like this video, you know what to do. Help me out, click on the like button. And if you're not subscribed, half my viewers keep coming back, but they don't subscribe. It's not gonna hurt you. Do me a favor and subscribe. So uh, I'm gonna wear these in and I'll obviously bring them back to you in a couple of months time. I I'd really paced out my uh, videos across uh, 2024, but then I hit June. I bought four pairs of Parkhursts, I got a, a, a Russell Moccasin, uh, I got my first engineer boot from Cordobes, and I got this all in the one month. So breaking them in, wearing them until I know what they feel like to bring to you, is gonna take a while, so be patient. The best way to keep in touch though is to subscribe, and if you do, I shall see you next week and every week thereafter. Take care and see you again soon.